guys, so you should know me by now. It's Jessica from Jessica Dirk's Equestrian. I'm here with Phoenix, also known as JDE Voodoo. And we are testing out the Gloss Rose Spray. This one is made by the City Barn, which is in Victoria. Now, I have literally, if you have a good close look at me, just finished clipping Phoenix. This is our first clip together, and he did really, really good. Um, I purchased this item because I was told it's a beautiful conditioner. Um, it develops the coat, darkens the coat, develops the colour, especially after clipping. Now, we are coming into um, mid-autumn almost. We're going to go into our winter. It's very cold here in Goulburn. We do want to keep um, competing Phoenix and keep uh, extending his competition time, so we need to have a nice clip to get him going. So I thought, what better time than to try this product now? Okay, so I'm just going to read you what the label says on the item. It says that it nourishes and conditions the coat, mane and tail. It's an extreme shine for a winning show finish. It achieves the perfect quarter marks and sharps teeth. Excellent mane and tail detangler. And it's silicon free, which means that there's no slipping of tack. Now, um, I use other products, which I have to be extremely careful and I can't use it on their coats. I usually just base it on the mane, the forelock, a little bit on the face, unless I'm going into a lead class. If I'm doing lead classes, then I do the whole body. I'm keen to give this a try. Now, I got this in the, I believe it's the one litre bottle. Um, there's quite a few different sizes you can get. You can also get a concentrate, which you water down, which will be um, probably something I'll get next because I've already got the spray bottle. Um, they say just to spray it directly on. Now, I like to brush it into the coat. Um, so I'm actually using my Hawes Natural Soft Dandy Brush, which has super, super soft bristles. And I think this is really good, especially after a fresh clip. Because the coat is now very, very short, um, he's, Phoenix is already a sensitive horse. Last thing I want to do is start sticking him with things. So I'm going to spray it on to his body, and then I'm just going to give him a nice brush over. Um, for his face, I don't like spraying things directly on their faces, so I'll actually put it onto the brush and then wipe it over their face. So follow on. It smells like rose water. So if anyone's ever had rose water hand cream, it's that beautiful rose petal smell, but it's not pungent. It's not really stinky like fake rose. Okay guys, so I have sprayed the whole of Phoenix now, his body. Uh, I'm going to do his face with you. But I just wanted to say that um, yesterday I gave Phoenix very deep nourishing clean, um, just with a good horse shampoo. Um, he was rubbed all night in preparation for his clipping. For anyone who doesn't know about clipping, um, your horse needs to be dirt not free otherwise you can blunt your blades on your clippers. So I've given him a really, really good bath. He was stabled, he was heavily rubbed. And I just want to show you, after clipping Phoenix, how much dirt has actually come out of his skin. This is what I couldn't get to um, yesterday with just a really good wash. So anyone who's looking at doing sort of high, high level competition, shows, eventing, dressage, things like that needs to either be really, really diligent in how deep they groom their horse or has to be quite aware that um, any horse with a longer coat that, that isn't clipped can be subject to all of this. This is going to cause skin irritation. All this dirt, all this rubbish, obviously it's come up because I had the rose 
spray on him, uh, dampening the coat, but that's just a really good indicator of why you need to do a really deep clean on your horse. Um, it's been on him for about two minutes now, and honestly, it does not feel like he's just been clipped. There is no rough, sticky patches. He feels so soft, like actually softer than his his face. So I did I only clipped half his face because he is indoors and outdoors. Um, if we're going to high level competition, then I will clip the front of his face too. But his coat is actually smoother and softer feeling than his natural coat is now, the clipped coat. So I'm just going to do his face, master ball. A little bit heady sometimes when he just decides to be. So for him we use natural soft brushes on his face anyway to discourage that sort of upward headiness. He's also a little bit of a princess. Good boy. So you'll be able to see just around his muzzle how much it's actually darkened up. It smells fabulous. Does it smell nice? You spoiled a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, I actually used the rose spray once on a fresh off the track thoroughbred I have, a uh, true ladies mare. And then I worked him uh, a couple days later. And when he sweated, he actually smelt like the rose water. It was quite amazing, actually. Okay, so I've got 750 mils left um, of my one litre bottle. I did use it, like I've mentioned, on a few of the other horses. I'm going to dedicate the rest of this between Phoenix and Cruz. Cruz has got his normal coat. He won't be clipped um, because he's doing more performance-based work. Uh, Phoenix is now clipped, which he's doing a lot of show as well as dressage-based work. Um, <laughs> I'm going to dedicate it to these two boys. I won't be using it on anyone else. I want to see how far my 750 mils goes. I've been reading through the details on the website. Um, they mention that you can use it daily, sec every second day or weekly. Um, they do recommend using it daily when you try and develop a coat. So I'll use it on both boys and then I'll be able to come back. Um, at the end of this, might take me a few weeks, might take me a month or two to finish it and give you an update. Do I think it's good? How did it go? Did it darken the coat? Did it develop a really nice coat? Did my gear go for a slide? Which is the most important thing? Are you right? Getting all wriggly. I think he's a bit cold, guys, so I'm going to leave you at that. Stay tuned, check out our other videos, and we'll see you soon.